Why did you come here, Kwere Kwere? Did you come here to steal our man? I feel very sorry for a person who does not have a home. Running through unfamiliar landscapes and languages. Running through countries that didn't care for us. In the beginning, it was just me. Then there was 12 of us. And then there was 20. And by the time we got to Tanzania, the group had got to about 40 people. And I'm really waiting for me. I'm also coming that way. You know, when you come from a landlocked country, you're only used to seeing things like lakes and, and dams and rivers. But seeing the ocean for the first time, that is something you never forget. I was amazed by this lot of water that was bubbling and boiling. Water that you could not even tell where it was coming from. All we heard was that it was easy to get a job there. That South Africa was a land of wealth and possibilities with golden beaches. The first thing I noticed about this place were the cockroaches. Everywhere. Zimbabwe may have many things, but certainly not cockroaches that size. Uh -uh. You write it down that uh, cockroaches in Durban need to be attended to as a matter of national importance. I'm actually quite humbled to, to sit here and, 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 and watch these women performing these stories. It's very touching, I must say. I feel I watched something important or something uh, exceptional uh, because it, that's what theatre can do. It comes under your skin. At home affairs, they expect a bribe. If you don't have the money, you are of no real use to them. I get up very early each morning for work and I change outside so as not to wake the other women sleeping. I move like a thief in the night so as not to disturb anyone. Seven of us sharing a one bedroom flat and only two people had employment. People invaded our accommodation and threatened to beat us up. I walk past the funerals on my way to work. They say, their shops were looted. Some were burned alive in their containers. The same horrors. The same horrors I had run away from in the first place. The stories that are being told here, they give me a sign of hope. I would call my husband crying, saying that I'm coming home. I can't do this. But somehow I stayed. No matter how hard things are here in Durban, back at home, they are far worse. I wish my husband was still alive to see me when I move into my new home. He would have been so proud of me.